Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Kevin with Mikkel. On this video, we will be talking about, is change good? We discuss, you know, Beyonce's transformation from R&B to pop and Brandy's, you know, reign from Teen Idol to Teen Idol to to, um, no, but basically, to, this is a to, good video. Uh, reality show. If you guys like Brandy, you'll love this video. And if you like Beyonce, you'll love this video. And if you like the both of them, you'll love this video. I know. And, and you know, some people are saying, I'm tired of hearing about Beyonce. No, but you're going to really show. like this video because it's about Brandy and Beyonce. And another B. And Scott. Yes. And Whitney and Kevin and, and Mikkel. Me. And be Scott. Oh, let's just it's roll the credits. <laughs> question how much more time do we have yeah, 17 minutes okay I have a question for you um, now me and my friend Ibn, shout out to Ibn. hey Ibn. yeah y'all call me at work yeah um we Ibn is a huge brandy stand okay? okay he stands for brandy like no other <laughs> so me and Ibn always have like this back and forth about brandy and Beyonce which I think is kind of premature because of course we both agree that both brandy and Beyonce are both great singers they just really good singers um now Brandy and Beyonce are two different types of singers um I have this thing about Beyonce where as though I know as a stand I know that Beyonce can do R&B but my thing is Beyonce can't really do R&B today because R&B is not what is in today as well as far as for a female singer I think What's out today for female singers are, is mostly pop. Whereas though when Brandy was out, well, when Brandy was out, no, hold on. When Brandy was out in the mid 90s, you had Brandy and Monica and you had Whitney and all of them who were doing their thing. You didn't have no pop female singers. Then you had the SWVs and you had the Totals and you had the Escapes. All of them was um, females who did um, R&B. And R&B was very big in the 90s. Then the 2000s came and then all of a sudden you had this pop sound where all these female artists now is just doing pop. Well, let me tell you, let me, let me tell you okay, go ahead. about Beyonce. Beyonce can do R&B. But the reason why she does not do R&B is because she has to cater to everybody. And the R&B world and the pop world, that's why her music is fused with pop sound and R&B. And that's why she's played everywhere. Because Beyonce can easily do an R&B record. Well, but because can I say the one type of artist she is, she can't. But wait a minute. Hold on. Did you not just say what I just said, but you just added more stuff to it? I just said that. I just said in the beginning of what I just said that Beyonce can do R&B. But what I'm saying is she can, but she does not because what is popular today is pop. No, no. If she want, if Beyonce wants to save R&B, she can do a straight. No, Beyonce. Her album. next album can do an R&B album and can be an R&B album. And guess what? And it can and probably what? And do good something. because of the fact let that Beyonce. Something. Because Beyonce is who she is. If she did a straight R&B album, pop will eat that shit up. They will play it because of her name because of alone. Who she, yeah, and because of because, who she is. Because look, because Urban. Now you know Urban. If Beyonce was. Christina Aguilera and Christina Aguilera sang If I Were a Boy. Urban would not play that song. No, they wouldn't. But Urban played If I Were a Boy. Yeah. Okay? Because it's Beyonce. Yeah, because it's Beyonce. But so why is it? But wait a minute. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it's because it's Beyonce that they're doing it? Because Beyonce is that number one artist. I think she's the number one artist, right? Now. Point blank. Beyonce is the number one artist. But I'm saying. I'm not, I, well, we all know that. That's but I'm trying to get, get from play. you. We all know that. But I'm, what I'm trying to get from you is, when do you think Beyonce became that artist that now radio just has to play her? Where, once, what, once when, what album or what out. song? Once B Day. Once B Day because came Dangerous out. Because Dangerous in Love. Because really B Day, B Day was Beyonce's transformation from R and B, &B to, to pop. pop. I agree with you. Because Dangerous in Love was, Dangerous in Love was an R and B album slowly going to pop. Mm -hmm. And then when B-Day came out, it was just all pop. Yeah. Yep, even Irreplaceable. That's not Yeah, what do you consider that? It's not. It's pop. It's a pop song. Like, I want... You know how when B did those songs from Cadillac Records? 
that's like, R and B. That's soul. soul. Yeah, that's R&B that's soul. that's what B can do. Yeah. Okay, because you got Keisha Cole. Keisha Cole holds it down for R and B. Monica's holding it down for R and B. Tony Braxton's holding it down for R and B. Usher's holding it down for R and B. Um, Robin Thicke holds it down for R and B. Now, uh, uh, Robin Thicke is white, but you're not gonna hear sex therapy on no pop channel, even though it could be on there. You know, so. B is just catering to everyone. Cause Sasha Fierce, she did the black side and she did the white side. But why do you think people? Why do you think people hold that against her? Why? Yeah. Why do you think? That I think that because she caters to everybody, people hold that against her. Well, it's kind of like I thought that's what people kind of do. Cause people kind of would say it's kind of like selling yourself out. It's kind of like what they did to Whitney. When Whitney was first do R&B and then she started sounding, doing them pop songs. But, and then, you know, people hated the fact that she was but, doing that. But this is the thing. So this is the they thing. They kind of feel like it's selling out. But see, this out. is the thing. Because I've heard that time and time again about Whitney. And I never thought that Whitney sold herself out. If anything, Whitney grew a larger audience to now look where she's at today. But she's you considered know a legend today. But, but look, but look, all that I want to dance with somebody and all that, what is it? Um, I wanna do what I say, I wanna dance with somebody. Uh -huh. Try all that other stuff. That 80s, she left that in the 80s. Me she the did 90s that in the 80s. She was straight R and B. Yeah. The only pop song Whitney came out was like step by step. Yeah, but that but those songs helped her get to where she's at today. So what's the matter with her chat like for instance, B Scott. <laughs> no, I mean, come on. Come on, you're, you are an avid, well you were, I don't know if you are today, but you were an avid fan, a watcher of mm -hmm. B. Scott. A lot of y'all who watch our show, watch B. Scott's show. Some of y'all will say that in the beginning B. Scott was one way and then he transformed into another way. Mm -hmm. But look where it has gotten him. He has gotten his own radio show on XM or whatever radio but station that, that's that is. Not, but that's, that's not... But wait a minute, but, but wait a minute. I, what I'm saying oh, no, is no, no, what I'm saying this, is this, change is a good thing when you're do when you're going about it the right way. Whitney Houston went about it the right way. Look where she's at today. But B. I Scott, no, he but went about the, it the, the right the, the way. He started on YouTube and now he has a radio okay, show. Okay, but the change that you're saying is like change from different from my point of view as a viewer, which I don't really care to talk about. But you know what he's doing, that's great for him. Yeah. And what some people may say, well, you know, he's gotten to a level where you know he doesn't have well he has abandoned his YouTube audience. Well, to me, it's like, you should be able to take that YouTube audience and go, they should go with you to where you are now. Mm -hmm. They should stop complaining. Like, the Scorpion show's not gonna be on YouTube forever. Mm -hmm. I mean, I might give you a YouTube video here and there, yeah. but I'm not gonna be on here forever. And I will hope that whatever journey, wherever um, life takes me on that journey, that you follow it with me. Okay. You know, not saying, oh, well, you used to do this, and now you don't do it. Like, he might gain some radio fans. Now he might say, oh, well, you know, B. Scott makes the TV. Oh, well, now that he on TV, he's just too big for radio. Some people just need to stop complaining and take that venture with him from radio to the television. So he went from YouTube to radio and hopefully to TV. But what I'm saying is people need to sometimes accept change. But the change that I saw was it's not like, OK. But no, I'm not saying now. I'm not trying to say from a viewer standpoint. OK. I'm trying to say from somebody who from his standpoint from Whitney's standpoint they all changed and look where the change has gotten them that's what I'm saying Beyonce changed from when Destiny's Child came out from the R&B to now she's pop that change look where that change has got when Dangerously in Love came out I'd never in a million years would have dreamt that Beyonce would be where she's at today never would have dreamt that I never would have dreamt that she would be the star that she is today she changed because the, the, the whole music was changing. Everything was changing, just like Whitney. Whitney changed for the better. Look where she's at now. She's considered a legend. B. Scott. She's, she's been a legend. Well, she's been a legend, but, I mean, but I mean, <laughs> all, all that she's been through has helped her get to where she's at today. Look at B. Scott. He started out on YouTube, and now look where he's at now. He has his own radio station on Jamie Foxx's station. I mean, so change is well, good. Well, look at, well, well, what about Mariah Carey's change? Because people ain't, okay, okay go ahead, now, did I'm she listening. change? I'm listening. Did she change for the well, better? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sometimes the change is Yeah, sometimes the change, yeah. Sometimes the change, sometimes the change is not always good. No, but, look what, look, but look what happened to her. She changed, she had that downhill, and look what happened. She got back up. She went back to her R&B roots. And then the Amanda, and then she 
she got back up and then that emancipation of people. And then she got lazy again. Ow, my leg just went to sleep. But then she got lazy again with that equal MC squared. You're right. And then child. Well, you know, I think she came out too fast with that. I think she should have waited. Came out now. Yeah, she did that. Album should have came out now, so then it could have been better. Because I think that Mariah Carey was so excited about that, the success of Emancipation of Mimi, that she just wanted to hurry up and throw an album out there. That's what I think. Yeah. And I think, you know, Maybe because of that. Maybe she probably to get out that fucking contract, bitch. But I think that Mariah should have not been lazy on Eagle MC Square because she was singing up and down. She was on Emancipation of Mimi. She was. She singing. Singing. She oh was. My God. Now, but then I get to, my legs fell asleep. Aww. But, but okay. So for the change that you're saying, like, with B. Scott, let me tell you what his transformation was. His transformation was from talking about his Ethi Ethiopian neighbor to, you know, really start getting into the celebs. But from the B. Scott that I seen, like, I wasn't sure if something was right. Like, meaning, like, I wasn't sure, like, if he was okay. You know how you, you, know how you yeah, watch I've someone? Yeah, I've heard you say that before. You know how you yeah. watch someone mm -hmm. and... You be like, something ain't right. Maybe something's personal is going on. And you know, like, I still support you, you know? So that's like the change that I seen. I didn't see anything bad. What some what people made it look like on YouTube is like, okay, the Scorpion just don't like him. The Scorpion's talking bad about someone. Just like our show has evolved. Mm -hmm. You know, some people might not like how the way our show has evolved, but at least we're changing. We're making it better. And sometimes we might fail at something. And some people might get on you because you fall, like I say, there's a way to say things. There's a right way to say things and a mean way to say things. So, but that's my that was the whole point. The change, that I was sometimes, about. sometimes change is good, and then sometimes change but, you shouldn't. But see, that's the whole point broke. that I was making about my girl. She's definitely changed because I'll be the first one to admit it. But I think that she's changed because of the music that she's in. Like for instance, me and you both agree that if Beyonce came out with the R&B album. It would do good, but I don't think it would do good as, it wouldn't do as good as her pop album. I just don't think that. Let me tell you, point blank, I just don't let think me that. tell you why it wouldn't do good. Because first of all, Beyonce's fans are teenagers yes. and in their 20s. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, mainly, you know, teenagers, they claim they don't have money to buy stuff. But, you know, you could get up on Twitter. Mm -hmm. You could talk all that standing shit. Mm -hmm. You get up on the BW board, talk all that, that standing, standing shit. shit. But you can't spend a dollar. Mm -hmm. You can't spend a dollar. Why is it that Lady Gaga can turn? She could say, Bad Romance, that shit will trend in five minutes. Buy it. And it's number one. Mm -hmm. B, B fans, they don't support her iTunes wise. They would rather download it or hear her in the club. Mm -hmm. So she has to now expand her listening audience to people that will want to buy a CD. Mm -hmm. You think Susan Boy, you. Uh, if, she catered to teenagers. You think she would have sold that million, millions and millions of albums? I agree with you. So now Beyonce has to do something where she has to expand to an older list of audience. Even if that means she has to put some songs on Urban urban AC Radio, like the adult, like WDAS. I feel she could do that. But any artist can basically do it. But for Brandy, Brandy really needs some pop sound in R&B. And she wants to be consider more than just a teen idol because that's all brandy and let's i'm not being mean but come on brandy was a teen idol yeah she was T brandy was a teen idol and that's what a lot of people today remember her as as a teen idol because you know brandy she came out with her last two albums two years ago and it didn't do too good because i think brandy was trying to transform herself but so many people were so used to that teen idol image that they weren't really picking up on this and music New today, brandy. music today, you cannot take four year breaks. Yeah, you can't, and that, and that's the thing with that's the thing that I think really hurt Brandy because of the fact that she took that break and then she came out with this sound that people really weren't used to hearing from her. Mm -hmm. See, we, we we were used to hearing that good old R and B teen idol music that we had this teenage <laughs> singing to us, but it was like she was singing about grown people stuff. Mm -hmm. Now we have music that's different today, and Brandy's trying to catch up with that sound. But people are like, wait a minute, Brandy. I don't remember you ever sounding like this, and it sounds like it sounds like you're trying to be something that you're not. You see what I'm saying? Like Monica, she didn't go the pop route. No, she didn't. She stick with R and B, but mm -hmm. it was that good music because yep. she was at one point trying to do something that wasn't yep. her. That every time the beat dropped, let's but not Monica talk about stuck it. with that classic, <laughs> that classic Monica sound. Mm -hmm. It just got um, bigger and like it got older as she grew. That sound grew with her, and a lot of her old fans from yesteryear. 
stuck yeah. alongside with her because that new album is the truth. Yeah, that new album and it did really good for her. But it's like, do you think this is what I want to know? If Brandy comes out with another album, say next year, and if she didn't have this reality TV show, do you think her album next year would be able to get to the point where Monica's album got to without this TV show? Because I basically think that if she comes out with an album next year, I think because I think if her album does do well, it'll be because of the, it a, the TV it's show. It's going to be a second season of Family Business. Right? Yeah. Okay. But I think it'll be because of the TV show. Well, well. Because I, mean, I don't think people are even look at Fantasia. Catching on to this rapping. Like, no I one bought Fantasia's new rapping. music. Yeah. No. Like. No. Sometimes a reality show ain't gonna help, but well, no, but 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 Fantasia and Brandy are in two different categories. But for Brandy, I think Brandy is needs a crossover hit. She's a, a a hit that's gonna that R and B is gonna play, and pop is gonna play. She needs a crossover. Otherwise, Brandy girl, you better learn that family business and start managing people. Cause she she already got enough money. She making money. She does, and she, and I think Brandy, Brandy set set a, a, a path for all of the female young female R and B artists that came after her. She really did because I mean when you think about it, in the mid '90s, Brandy was the young female artist that everybody knew. She had her hit TV show. She had her hit album. She had a, her songs were all over the radio. Five million albums. You know, Brandy was the Beyonce of today, of then. Cause you know how Beyonce's everywhere. That's how Brandy was. Brandy was that it girl. She was that it girl. And at that particular but, time, nobody was really touching her, but really Monica. But I mean, Monica never really got to the status that Brandy <laughs> was on. <coughs> you know, back in that time, people was pitting Brandy versus Monica, though. Yeah, they were, but the th but I, what I love about it is that they never went that route. They were always friends. I love that. I don't, I don't know if they were always friends, though. But, but I mean, because you know how Well, people... let's put it like this. They never had a public feud, which I thought was very classy between the two of them. They never had a public feud. That we just like, about. just like, just, well, if it's <laughs> in the public, then we would have heard about it. Just like Kelly Rowland and Brandon, they had that they had that little thing between each other, but we never really knew the gist of it, even though we knew that. And you know, I'm an ass. Okay. Well, we knew, <laughs> you know, but what I'm what I'm so happy about is that Kelly and Brandy were able to put that behind them, and now they're good friends again, yes. which they should be. Yes. So everyone, I want to say thank you so much for watching, and um, we will talk to you guys later.